esteemed colleagues, please settle down. In order for us to compose this report, we have here Dr. Dia, Professor Ivy, and uh, Disaster Specialist Dr. Hira, along with myself, Dr. Davy, and uh, we will be discussing uh, various components of the European heat wave that occurred in 2003. All right? I am Dr. Dia, and we have gathered from the World Meteorological Organization that the 2003 European heat wave was the hottest summer on record in Europe since 1540. The severe heat wave began in June and continued until mid-August, raising temperatures 20 to 30 percent higher than the seasonal average in Celsius, extending from northern Spain to the Czech Republic and from Germany to Italy. Extreme maximum temperatures of 35 to 40 degrees Celsius were repeatedly recorded in July and to a larger extent of August. This extreme weather was caused by an anti-cyclone firmly anchored over the Western European landmass, holding back the rain-bearing depressions that usually enter the continent from the Atlantic Ocean. This situation was exceptional in the extended length of time of over 20 days, as we can see, during which it conveyed very hot, dry air up from south of the Mediterranean. This pattern occurred for much of the rest of August. The low precipitation during the period accumulated water balance deficit of up to 380 millimeters in southern Europe and 200 millimeters over most of central Europe. Additionally, in the northern hemisphere, vortex winds were moving slower than usual. With a weak circulation, we have here blocking anticyclones, which can settle in some regions deflecting rain carrying currents, causing droughts and heat wave. Dr. Ivy, your input? Thank you, Dr. Dia. Research shows that human activity may have increased the risk of this heat wave occurrence. The contributions of human-induced increases in atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases and other pollutants were also a factor in the unusually high temperatures throughout the European region. A study by the University of Oxford used a threshold for the average summer temperature that was exceeded in 2003, and they estimated that it was very likely that human influence had at least doubled the risk of the heat wave. Summer temperatures in 2003 exceeded the 1961 and 1990 average by 2.3 kelvins, as represented by the star in the graph. Your input, Professor Hira. Thank you, Dr. Ivy. Heat health warning systems are issued to initiate acute public health interventions, which are designed to reduce the heat-related impacts on human health during the abnormally hot weather. Four common trigger-setting approaches are used in identifying this extreme weather. First off, we have synoptic classification, which takes into account the health may be affected by several weather factors acting in combination. Assessment of the temperature morality relationship analyzes the historical morality data and models the direct relationship between temperature and morality. There is also the usage of the humidex and the assessment of the physiological classification of heat exchange between the human body and the thermal environment. No. Due to the heat wave occurring during vacation season, there was limited medical support as doctors were off the job and number of patients exceeded the number of medical staff available. There wasn't a way to stop the heat wave from occurring. However, citizens were informed on how to cope with the heat. You keep out of the heat, you stay cool, stay hydrated, seek advice if you have concerns and help others. A new warning system was implemented after 2003 due to the lack of coordination and organization during the European heat wave. Three tiered warning system was developed, including attention, alarm, and state of emergency. Back to you, Dr. Davy. With these components in mind, the European heat wave of 2003 resulted in 70,000 fatalities, with France carrying the highest of over 14,000. Majority of the population affected were the elderly due to physiological reasons. They suffered from heat stroke, sunburns, and dehydration. There were approximately 13.8 billion US dollar accumulative loss, which includes the 75% loss in wheat crops as well as livestock loss in over five countries. More than 25,000 forest fires during this time burnt over half a million hectares of forests in Portugal, Spain, Italy, France, among many other countries. Alpine glaciers in Switzerland shrank by 10%, resulting in rock slides and thawing mountains. French nuclear power plants were forced to shut down due to low levels of river water that facilitated the plant's cooling process. Thus, when electricity usage peaked because of turned up AC and fridges, the plant was unable to keep up with the demand since they were now operating at a reduced capacity. Well, this concludes our analysis report of the 2003 European heat wave. Any questions, Dr. Ivy? Well then, 
Thank you for your attention and please expect to receive a report uh, tonight by email. Thank you.